I have never filled a sketchbook so fast. By adapting an old school technique of using tone paper to produce amazing results that pop, it saves so much time because you won't be burdened with colour and you'll let the paper do the heavy lifting. Hello, I'm Omar. I'm a sketchbook artist, illustrator for food packaging, giftware, books, and I've worked with the BBC and UNICEF. And I'm also the author of Go With The Flow Painting for Spontaneous Watercolour Techniques. I'm a top teacher here on Skillshare. In the last few years, I've had to level up my understanding of value contrast, finding fun ways of enhancing contrast in order to apply the key principles in commercial and sketchbook projects. In this class, we will carefully observe, then just use black and white to fill in the darkest and lightest areas, focusing on shapes and contrast, with the tonal paper acting as the midtones and using real life references of fruit, vegetables, and some vases. By the end of this class, you'll be able to break down their forms into their essential light and dark areas to better understand the subject matter. And don't think you need to splash out on loads of materials, just black and white pens and any tonal paper from craft, envelopes, or even cardboard. As this way of working is quick, it's especially useful if you don't have much time to fit in a drawing practice, or if you don't have much experience and want a simple yet accessible approach to understanding values. These types of studies are going to be invaluable. If you've been in a creative rut, then working on a surface other than white will lead to fresh exploration. And for those who are really curious to create on tonal paper, I want to invite you to join me for a simple class that will give stunning results. If you're unfamiliar with using tone paper, let's go through some of the huge advantages so you'll really appreciate the benefits. To familiarise yourself with tone and value, it's worth painting a gradient chart like this one. This is a chart for Van Dyke brown watercolour with very concentrated pigment on one end and a range of tones in between. If we look at this watercolour gradient scale, which has 20 values, and remove the lightest four and the darkest four, only the 12 mid-range values are left, and that toned paper provides all the mid-tones. Since that's already been established, it does save a heck of a lot of time, so we don't have to fill in over half the other shades. Here are some of the advantages to using toned paper. Sketches can be completed so much faster. One of the huge benefits to drawing on toned paper is the drawing can be completed much faster when compared to drawing on white paper. Because the mid values are already established, the sketching process is speeded up. Those who simply have to focus on the deeper shadows, some of the darker mid-tones and then the highlights and then you're done. It's less intimidating than white paper. Another less obvious benefit is tone paper can help lessen the overwhelm of staring at a blank sheet of white paper. I think it helps you to ease up and get started by taking some of the pressure off. It helps us to unify our sketches. The mid-tones present in the paper can also help harmonise different aspects of the drawing. What we're doing is basically using a very limited palette. By leaving the tone paper to show through in the sketch to represent the mid-tones, then applying only black and white, the sketches have a really coordinated feel. It's easier to bring out the highlights. I find the highlights when drawing on tone paper have a unique glow. They really pop and look fantastic. This means you can really explore the way the light glances off a vase or shimmers on the side of a face. It's amazing how we can create more contrast and visual interest in our sketches by using this method. And furthermore, this helps to create areas that really stand out and leads the eye in and around your piece. Working with tone paper also encourages you to really observe. When simplifying what you see into areas of black or white, you will have to be forced to see the lights and shadows. This is of great value when trying to clarify and distinguish shapes and their relationships. The direction of the light and the shadows are very helpful guides when moving into colour, sketches or paintings. If you're interested in using tone paper like this, then do consider taking my Skillshare class called Toned Paper, Stunning and Simple Illustrations in Black and White. In this class, you'll carefully observe, then just use black and white to fill in the darkest and lightest areas. The link to the class is in the description below.